Here we are, Tuesday market, biggest marketplace in the whole of England. We turn round, here's the Duke's Head, where Sir Robert Walpole, England's first Prime Minister, used to go for his beer in the 1730s. And over here, as we pan round, is a building with a rather macabre history, because in front of this building in 1533, a woman was literally boiled alive for committing murder. With me here is uh, Phil Hardy from the Green Party, talking to Elizabeth Knockholds from the Borough Council of Kington and West Norfolk, one of the Cabinet members. Then we've got Hilary Thompson, former Mayor of uh, Cromer, and Jill Bennett from Radio Norfolk. Here we are at Lynn Sport, one of our pre-games training centres, all raring to go, and we're all of five minutes into our epic cycle today. Here we are at the uh, Norwich gates of Sandringham House, West Norfolk, country home of the Queen and in the middle of the picture is uh, Liz Knockholds, cabinet member for culture, leisure and tourism, the borough council of Kingsland and West Norfolk. Well Liz, what are you planning in West Norfolk for the tour of Britain? Well we're actually planning a celebration the night before the, the tour of Britain starts. We're having a jazz band at the quayside to get everybody um, happy about the next day. And on the next day, we're, we've invited lots and lots of local schools to the Tuesday Marketplace from 9 o'clock onwards. And there'll be special events for the children to try, special bikes so they can cycle around, um, they can dress up their bikes for an art competition, lots and lots of events. And then finally, before the actual Tour of Britain starts from the Tuesday Marketplace, we've got some really old bikes coming from March Museum. Here we are in Burnham Thorpe, birthplace of Lord Nelson. Norfolk's hero and here are our intrepid cyclists taking a few minutes out during this glorious Friday. In the distance you can see Bourne at Burnham Thorpe Church where Nelson's father was the vicar and clearly without him we'll be speaking French today no doubt. So here we are in Cromer Library and here are the staff Happy and bonny as ever, Jennifer Holland will be incredibly pleased. <laughs> so, now, quick look round Cromer Library. There's a happy library using oh person. My God, I'm a look at that. <laughs> look, look, looking, at, looking at the racing form. Okay. There we are. What a grand looking little library you've got. Here we are at the end of our first day. We've arrived in Cromer in record time. We're just outside Hillary's pub the cottage pub in the middle of Cromer. So Hilary, how was your first day? First day's been really good. We've had good weather. The sun got a bit warm but then the cloud came across but it, it didn't spoil it because it's been warm without the sunshine so none of us are burnt. Um, we took um, slightly off the main road route which kept us away from the traffic. Scenery's been beautiful, company's been good. Um, we've had scones and soup and coffee at Marie Strong's so yeah really good it's been a good day I've had a little trouble with my bicycle having said that and is it is at the moment being repaired in the cycle shop but we're looking forward to tomorrow morning and uh, a good day tomorrow all the way to Norwich and then Yarmouth it was really exciting I went and saw lots of new places from Kings Lynn through to Sandringham with the beautiful countryside all around there saw Burnham Market with all its character we went to the bird reserve in Clyde by the sea where I saw a marsh harrier which is my favorite bird um, it's been very tiring, my legs are going to feel it in the morning, but I did surprisingly well. I thought I'd be a lot more tired than I am now, so I'm going to go tomorrow and um, more of the same. Here we are in Cromer, the morning of day two, um, and you're all from what school? Cromer Junior School. You're Mayfield. all from Mayfield, and I understand Hillary's raising some money, isn't she? I believe so, yeah, but they're also members of Cromer Youth Football Club. Oh, there we are. And, and your name is? I'm Barry Foster. I'm the Vice Chairman. Well, Cromer hello, Youth. Barry. Nice hello, to Derek. see you. And you. And you are? Nathan. Hello, Nathan. Jordan. Hello, Jordan. Thomas. Thomas. Jack. Hello, oh, Jack. Got to get you down here. Well done, Jack. And we've got at the back. Ryan. Hello, Ryan. So you're all really good footballers, are you? Yeah. yeah. That's good. And you all support Norwich City? Yeah. That's excellent no, news. No, 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 no. Hey, George, don't even say it, George. Well, who do you support, George? Leeds. Leeds? Woo! Well, you've got to be at the back now for saying that. Our first stop, Saturday morning, 
everyone from the Chroma Youth team is all here, look, ready to go, taking artificial stimulants. <laughs> okay. Can you say that on there? Well, yes, well, this is it, yes, the uh, <laughs> some sort of energy drink. Right, it's now just gone half past ten, Saturday morning, and we've got as far as Aylsham. Mm -hmm. we've, we've kidnapped a local person, Christine Birchall, to video us. <laughs> We're now going to go for our cup of tea in the Bure Valley Railway and then we're going to cycle down the Bure Valley Railway uh, cycle track on our way into Norwich. We're, we're, we're on schedule, that's okay. good news. Okay. And are there any are there any particular injuries you've got to report? Or? Not yet, but we can, th 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 that we can mention uh, on video. <laughs> Very jelly-like legs. <laughs> Say again, Phil. Very jelly-like legs I've got and my thighs are just seizing ah, up. That's bit, youth, so. that's youth <laughs> for you. <laughs> Or, or, or it could have been the points of beer last night. No, we didn't want to mention it. <laughs> Just about three o'clock and we're on our way to Yarmouth. I thought we'd stop outside the Norwich Playhouse and I'll just go through the uh, august band of cyclists. Here we have the chairman of Norfolk County Council, Tony Tomkinson. Good afternoon. Justin Wilson from County Hall. Hello. Richard Beerman from the Green Party. Hilary Thompson, Hello. a face of old who's cycled all the way from Kings Lynn, as has Philip Hardy. We're in the home straight. And we've got Ian Maunders. Ian Norwich, Maunders. Norwich cycling campaign. There we are, a star man, and Peter Wilson. The Theatre Royal. Of the Theatre Royal. Okay, so here we all are. Uh, I thought we might as well take this uh, particular shot now because I'm not sure the condition we'll all be in <laughs> when we arrive in Yarmouth. Tony, thanks ever so much for coming along. How do you enjoy it? Oh yes, of course, Derek, and I'm really pleased to have joined all of you and wish you well in the rest of your journey to Great Yarmouth. Well, th thanks ever so much indeed for all that fantastic stuff you've done, and thanks ever so much for coming out today. It's been a great pleasure. Right, we're at Potter Hayam now, about 12 miles outside Yarmouth. We're all on good form. The weather's been absolutely miraculously good. We've avoided a big rainstorm at Norwich. There's a big dark cloud behind us at the moment and if we cycle fast enough I think we should just about beat it and get into Yarmouth ahead of our schedule time of 6 o'clock. Philip, you've just finished the sixth stage of the Tour of Britain. How do you feel? I feel tired, I feel exhausted, but it was a fantastic experience going across beautiful Norfolk with its fantastic countryside and all its history and the sights to see. I'm tired and I'll sleep well tonight, but... Being and in honest, between now and sleeping, what do you plan to do? Um, I'm going to go straight to the pub and have a pint of Cronenberg. <laughs> all three, maybe all, all three, all three. Well it's done. been really good. We've been so lucky with the weather. Yeah. So lucky with the weather. We've had good company, we've had a laugh and it's been good, really good fun. Nice for people to join us part of the way as well. So, um, yeah, thoroughly enjoyed it. Thank you. Well, thank you. It's been really, really good. Um, I think what made it really pleasurable is that all three of us got on so well. It was really fantastic. We had a great night's sleep last night. Hillary's hospitality was beyond belief. We had a great time in Cromer. And uh, last night was really fun at the end of the pier with a seaside special. Uh, Justin was a fantastic pace man for the last section out of uh, Norwich to Yarmouth. Uh, Peter Wilson was an absolute star and he's got to rush back now for Robinson Crusoe at the Theatre Royal tonight so he's done really really well. I, I can't believe how we avoided all the bad weather. <laughs>